You're welcome to Open Heaven's Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I'm Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heaven's written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adebue, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Sunday, the 17th day of December 2023, and our topic for today says, Hold Fast. Let us pray. Our most gracious Father, the soon coming King, we worship and we bow before your Majesty. King of glory, we thank you for all of your goodness, your mercy, your kindness and your faithfulness towards us. Thank you for all of the wonders without numbers that you do in our lives. We thank you for the gift of breath in our nostrils. We thank you for the strength you have endured us with to carry on each day. We thank you also for the wisdom to seek you early. We come before you today asking that you would yet speak to us, O God. Let your word come with simplicity and power. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Job chapter 27 verse 6. Job 27 verse 6 reads, My righteousness I hold fast, and will not let it go. My heart shall not reproach me so long as I live. Job chapter 27 verse 6. Our text for today is from the book of Revelation chapter 3 from verse 10 to 13. Revelation chapter 3 from verse 10 to 13 reads, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God and I will write upon him my new name. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Revelation chapter 3 from verse 10 to 13. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Our topic for today once more says, Hold fast. And our Father and the Lord begins with the scripture John chapter 14 verse 2, which reads, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. He continues to say, God is preparing a place for you. However, if you are still committing sin and feeling it is okay to do so, sorry, you have no place in heaven. The place he is preparing in heaven is only for those living holy and are without blemish, spot or wrinkle. He is coming back only for these people as they will be presented to himself as his bride. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 27 It is interesting to know, however, that Jesus may be preparing a mansion with the name of someone on it, but that fellow may eventually not stay in that mansion while someone else takes his or her place. That is why Revelation chapter 3 verse 11 says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. In the days when it is considered a crime in a certain country to believe in Jesus Christ, some soldiers arrested five young Christians. In the peak of terribly cold weather, the soldiers stripped these five boys and sent them into a freezing lake. The soldiers built a fire to keep themselves warm and said to these boys, All you need to do to come to this warm fire and have your clothes on is to deny Jesus Christ. After a little while, the boys began to freeze in the water. When they were about to freeze to death, one of the boys raised his hand and told the soldiers he was no longer a Christian. They told him to come to the fire. As he started moving towards the fire, God opened the eyes of one of the soldiers and he saw five angels, each one carrying a crown. Just waiting for these boys to breathe their last so they could crown them and welcomed them home. As the boy who denied Jesus began to walk out of the lake, his angel turned to go away with his crown. 
The soldier cried, Angel, wait for me. I will take the crown. He removed his clothes, jumped into the lake, died with the other four and took the crown of that young man. Starting a race is of little consequence. What really matters is if you reach the finish line. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more tells us to hold fast. To say to someone to hold fast is a sound of warning or caution, reminding that person to be careful, to be diligent and to be encouraged because there would be a reward in the end. Apostle Paul speaking in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 19 said, If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. The New Living Translation says if our hope in Christ is only for this life, we are more to be pitied than anyone in the world. One of the greatest hopes of a believer, one of the beautiful things we look forward to, is spending eternity with Christ. In John chapter 14 verse 2, like we see in the opening of the body of our devotional for today, our Lord Jesus speaking there was reassuring us. He said, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. In other words, he's saying what I am telling you is guaranteed. You can take it to the bank. In my Father's house are many mansions. He says to you and I that I go to prepare a place for you. In verse 4 he says, And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Hallelujah. This means there's an expectation of his return for us. However, he is not coming back for just anybody. He is not coming back for everyone who is on the earth. He is coming back for those whose garments are without blemish, those whose garments are without spot or wrinkle. You would agree with me that in today's world, there are more than enough reasons, more than enough distractions, more than enough temptations to make a believer lose focus. Hence, we are called back to attention, we are reminded, we are told to hold fast. In today's study, our Father in the Lord tells us a story that reveals to us that there are crowns waiting for those who would hold on to the very end. There is no excuse for drawing back, no excuse for giving up. We are also reminded today that starting a race is of little consequence. What really matters is if you reach the finish line. You would recall recently, on Tuesday, the 12th of December, that we studied the topic Two Types of Salvation, where our Father and the Lord mentioned to us that there are two categories of salvation. He said there is the instant salvation, which is the kind that happens when people answer the altar call, and there is the ultimate salvation, which happens when you endure to the end. In that study, our Father and the Lord reminded us that the devil will do everything within his power to take you back to himself. He tells us not to think that because we have done many great things for God, that we now have a short ticket to heaven. He said that we must remain standing until the end if we would make it to heaven. In our study today, we see the story of how that boy denied our Lord Jesus Christ and he lost his crown. The question to us today is how are we also denying our Lord Jesus Christ? The case today may not be the same where you deny him by saying you are no longer a Christian. It may be by our actions, it may be by our words, it may be by certain things that we do or do not do. Ask yourself that sincere question today, am I denying Jesus? And if the Holy Spirit convicts you, you repent immediately. Today's word may also be to someone who has been discouraged. Maybe you are thinking of going back to the things you used to do in the past. Dear brother or sister, hold fast. God's word to you today is found in Galatians chapter 6 verse 9. He says to you and let you not be weary in well-doing. For in due season you shall reap if you faint not. I would like us at this point to bow our heads and begin to ask the Lord today, say, Father, whatever price I have to pay, don't let me lose my crown. Don't let me miss heaven in Jesus' name. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, whatever price I have to pay, the price of obedience, the price of diligence, whatever it is, Lord, help me not to lose my crown in the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord, to stay with you 
and to hold fast unto you. Help me, O Lord, to be prepared and ready for your coming. Help me, Lord, not to miss out on heaven. In the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, help me not to fall by the wayside. Ask him for that grace that keeps keeping and preserving us. That grace that continues carrying us one step at a time. That grace that is sufficient to overcome every temptation that we may face. You can call upon the Lord today for help in that area of need, that place where your feet is wobbling. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, help me. Grant me the grace to stand strong. Grant me the grace to hold fast. Grant me to hold on to the very end so I may obtain the promise. Cry unto the Lord today, say, Father, my mansion in heaven will not be occupied by someone else in the name of Jesus. Our Lord Jesus says he has gone to prepare a place for us. Tell the Lord today, say, Father, help me that that place where he is, there will be also. Ask the Lord today for the grace to hear him welcome us into his glorious kingdom. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, please help me. Help me not to deny you. Ask the Lord today that if there be any way we may be denying him, consciously or unconsciously, he would have mercy upon us today and help us to turn new leaves in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today that we would not deny him in our speech, in our actions, in our way of life, in our response to situations and circumstances around us, in temptations as they come our way. Let him help us hold fast. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our gracious Father, we thank you for your word to us today. We are asking, O Lord, that you would reinforce us and shower us with fresh grace to hold on to the very end. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Hebrews chapter 1 down to chapter 4. We also want to thank you and appreciate you for joining us today. God bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 23 of our Open Heavens devotional. We would be singing, Take my life and let it be. We receive the grace today to hold on to the very end in Jesus' name. Have a wonderful time in God's presence today. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now.
This devotional blessed you. We are always glad to hear from you. So leave us a comment. Let us know how this has blessed you. Also remember to follow us on all our social media handles to get more like this. You can share this with someone to bless them too. We gladly look forward to seeing you tomorrow again. Have a fulfilling day ahead. God bless you.